What's going on, guys? It's 11-11, okay? I love you if no one told you guys today, and I know all your dreams and aspirations matter, all right? I feel like somebody's heart chakra is open, all right? So let's see what's the most important messages that I need to be delivering to you guys today, all right? Let's see. Spirit guides, guardian angels, Archangel Michael, let me know how can I be used as a clear channel today to provide the necessary messages that my collective needs to know about. You are a healer. You guys have the gift of healing. Okay? You guys have the gift of energy healing. All right? You can work in healthcare. You can work with um with energy and helping others. All right? So this is definitely for a healer. Okay? It's your energy, it's your touch. All right? It's one of your gifts. Your gifts um are heightening right now. So you can find um a lot of people um coming to you for advice or wise counsel, coming to you just to talk, okay? Oh yeah, take action. Take action. So for some of you guys, you might be getting an offer or you might be going into a new study or a new profession in healing. All right. You need to act now on this and not be afraid of your abilities. All right. I'm speaking to someone that abilities is not like no other. All right. And it's ready. It's it's ready to be given to the world. There's a lot of people. You're ending a cycle. Wow. Wow, there's so many lessons learned, collective. There's so many fresh thoughts, okay, with this new opportunity. I feel like this is somebody going into a cycle of healing. You guys could be a spiritualist. You guys could have metamorphed um, out of your healing. You know, you can only be a healer if you've been wounded before. All right. So you're ending a successful cycle and you you leaving the nest. Some of you guys are leaving the nest. Some of you guys are moving out of your family's house. Some of you guys are leaving a relationship. But you're not leaving anything regular. You have blossomed. Look how many cycles you have completed. All right. This could have been four different cycles, four different relationships, four months. And somebody is rewriting their future. The actions that you are, are committing to is rewriting your future, guys. The actions are changing your path. I feel like you guys, you guys, you guys went through a lot, but you've learned that you hold the power. You've learned that you have a different ability than others. All right? You learned that you have... The, the power to rewrite your own future, okay? I feel like somebody tapped into the Akashic Records here. This is a beautiful, a beautiful transformation for somebody, okay? A beautiful transformation for somebody. And, wow, y'all... You guys have been tapping in to witchcraft. You guys have been tapping in to paganism. And you, you're practicing some type of ancestral work. All right? It's making me think about this. It's making me think about this. You guys are tapping into some type of ancient knowledge. I'm getting chrome. I'm getting ancient witch bloodline. You guys are from a powerful bloodline of witches. Okay, when I say powerful, powerful. So I feel like whatever you're going through, you might be tapping in to something that you're not aware that you always possess. Possess. There's a gift. There's a, a practice that is involved in your bloodline when it comes to witchcraft. I always tell y'all, y'all remember how the Haitians won the Revolutionary War. All right, they tap into their ancestral wisdom. And for a lot of you guys, because you are tapping into some type of paganism, some type of witchcraft, um, and you're practicing ancient knowledge, 
This is creating you to have your own pen to rewrite in your future. All right. I feel like some of you guys been getting called witches. Some of you guys been getting called um, voodoo priest or whatever. But it's okay. It's okay because there's dark and there's light. All right. So as long as you know who you are and what you're doing things for. You're taking witchcraft and you're using it for good. You're taking witchcraft and you, uh, you are showing the positive sides of the things that have been shown negative to society that come from our roots. Okay? So, I'm getting you a root worker. Alright? This is not for everybody. Somebody has the gift and the ability to heal through witchcraft. Alright? This is not for everybody. This is somebody that's showing the light attribute of witchcraft okay there's always a positive and negative and when people don't understand witchcraft they begin to show the world the negative light because that's what they've been using it for there's a healer that has been tapping into some ancient witchcraft and knowledge because y'all are from an ancient witch bloodline i mean a powerful I'm hearing mother, maiden, and crone. So your mother could have been something and your grandmother could have been something. But something happened in a generation to where you have been given the task to take the action now. You have been given the task to pick up this gift, take the action, and show the world how we can use it for good. Show the world that we can use witchcraft to get us out of a dark place and transform ourselves, transform others. By completing cycles and ending cycles by winning a war, by winning a spiritual warfare, by winning the mental war. When you start tapping into your own witchcraft, when you dedicate it to a practice and it's, 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 it's making you in cycles, it's making you transform, it's teaching you lessons, all right? It's providing you fresh start. Yeah, you're going to have a lot of people calling you different things you're gonna have a lot of people projecting fear on your abilities you're gonna have a lot of people making you feel like you got to question what the fuck you doing no this is a, a a highly ranked gift and not all have the ability to tap into it because those who are tapping into the witchcraft is going downhill baby there's always a light side and a dark side to something there's always a shadow side and a good side to something and right now there's a healer all right, that has the energy and the gifts of healing others through witchcraft, through paganism, because they have came from an ancient blood, witch bloodline, chrome, okay, and now they have taken action, okay, they have taken action so much, they have educated, you guys have educated yourself so much and continue to do so, that you are literally in the cycles from left to right, this is you. Now you have the ability to tap into your ancestral wisdom and release others from cycles. All right. This is going to be a different era for you guys. As you are tapping into these abilities, you are being gifted with the hands to free others and in cycles. All right. Because you are a healer. You have been wounded before. You've tapped into the unknown. You have been chosen. To commit to something. And you have been tested a lot of times. And now you're not caring about who's calling you a witch. You're not caring about who's calling you an evil terror card reader. You're not caring about who's 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 um, projecting evil on you. Because you're watching terror. Alright. And you damn sure not the one who's using evil for bad. Because you are healing others. You are taking action. And not standing down to the enemy. And tapping into the demonic people. That they say. That is in your ancestral bloodline. bloodline. This is this is the Orishas. This is this is all who you believe in. This is God. This is you. You are God. And because you take it action, you might have people projecting negativity on you as some type of witch. But that's okay because when you rewrite your love story by a practice that people can't figure out. They don't understand. And when they don't understand, they talk. They talk. And they go against something because it's 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 not comfortable to them. It's not what they used to. All right? 
So this is good stuff, y'all. This is good stuff. Somebody is going into a career of witchcraft, all right? You are a healer. I feel like with this action, all eyes is on you. You hear me? All eyes is on you right now because you are doing something of the unknown and it's working, collectives. It's working. It's working. It's working so much that you are setting boundaries. People know what line to cross. Whatever witchcraft you doing, whatever whatever you tap in, all right, you took the action and you created your own boundary. With these people, they feel so small compared to you, all right? They feel like children compared to you, all right, because they scared. You got people literally are scared of you, and they know that they are not, they, they're not going to cross that line, all right? They're not going to cross that line, and that's why they scared, like this. I feel like you have people around you that's honestly afraid of you, <laughs> okay? I feel like these people are honestly afraid of you, and you are, like, getting excited about this. You're like, oh, my gosh, this is working for me. I'm healing. I'm showing the, the positive side on something that was so negative. It's your private gifts, all right? And you are using your gifts only for yourself. And that's why people are not understanding because you are only using your gifts for yourself. All right. And it's causing you to rewrite your love story. Oh, wow. It's causing you to rewrite your love story and your future. And people don't know how the fuck you doing it. It's a private gift that you have of mediumship, of, of, of witchcraft, of candle work. It's a private gift and you are not. To share it with only um, no one but yourself. It's a private gift that unlocks so much shit for you right now. And people are confused. All right? So much so that they scared to step over that boundary. You are literally in charge. You are empath. You are an empath. You give healing. But not only. You don't only give positive healing like love and light, you give the energy to people to stand up for themselves, all right? You give the energy to people to not fuck with you, to check shit, all right? Just because you spiritual, that don't mean you pussy. Just because you believe in God, that don't, that don't mean you won't tap into your dark feminine energy or dark masculine energy. Just because you've learned how to show empathy, to others, that don't mean you haven't been done witchcraft. You haven't, you did, this probably made you an empath. And you, you transmute, you got the, thank you spirit, you got the art of transmutation. When it comes to negative energy, when it comes to negative things. And you take those negative things and you turn it and you blossom. It's like you release people because you release yourself. And then when you do that. You attract people that want to learn. Okay, this is great energy. This is great energy. Somebody is stepping into their gifts. Okay? Somebody is finally taking action because they see it's working. Somebody's seeing like, oh, these motherfuckers is back and back. Yeah. Somebody changed their perception. All right. Somebody was going through the mud. Somebody was fucked up. Somebody couldn't see shit. Somebody's vision was clouded. <coughs> Excuse me. Somebody needs to declare their throat chakra. Somebody was weathering a storm. And because somebody changed their perception of witchcraft. Okay. Whether it's tarot cards, any form of divination. Because you guys change your perception of witchcraft, not only did you rewrite your, your future, your love story, not only did you take action and change your path, but you helped many others in cycles successfully. You are helping many others in cycles successfully. You are doing something at a grand scale, all right? You are the producer you are in control of the healing process that is going on in your life, all right? 
and you tapping into your light and your dark. You understanding that healing just don't mean love and light. It means dark feminine energy, dark masculine energy. Okay? These are something, this is your private gifts that you changed your perception on. You had these gifts ever since you was young. All right? But because you was conditioned in, in different ways, you had to change your perception. A lot of your family told you not to read terror. A lot of your family told you that Arishas is too powerful. A lot of the people told you they not going to fuck with you if you continue to do that. I know mine's dead. I don't, I don't fuck with my family like that. Okay? I'm by myself with my children and my animals. A lot of the practices that I picked up in healing and witchcraft has created another plane for me. I'm, I, I have heightened and sometimes that calls you to be by yourself sometimes people are scared of the unknown they're not ready to change their perception and when they're not ready to change they stay clouded all right because you change your perception collectives you was able to tap into your private gifts that only you had out the family only you had out the collectives okay and it was the gift of light and dark. It was the gift of healing and witchcraft. It was the gift of mother maiden chrome. It was the gift of ancient wisdom. It was the gift of coming from an ancestral bloodline of powerful witches. Okay? Yeah, look. A spiritual growth. This is from your genes. Okay? This is enlightenment. You went through an ego death. And you created new abilities. Okay, as above, so below. You are only as strong as your roots. Okay, and when you don't tap in and when you be too scared, how the fuck are you going to be engaged? Just, how the fuck is you going to be engaged and equipped to engage in spiritual warfare if you're not tapping into your ancient crow bloodline? All right, this is not for everybody. This is somebody that comes from a background and a long lineage of ancient bloodline of witches that heals and because your family rejected these abilities okay you had to take action yourself you had to weather the storm and change your perception about your gifts that they was telling you not to use they didn't want you to use it because they didn't want you to spiritually grow and glow okay they didn't want you to create a new soul, a new aura. They didn't want you to enhance your star seed qualities. All right? You guys are meeting your soul family. You guys are moving towards your soul family. You guys are literally just attaching to the people that you grew up with. You are coming into new relationships. You are having new children. You are having new ideas. You are meeting new friends. And it's all because this always been divinely guided and protected for you. You've always been the black sheep out of the family that turned light out of nowhere. It's because you had to go through something. You had to do a lot of shadow work. You had to fight so much fucking demons collectors. That for some of you guys, you was pulled to terror. You was in such a dark space that you didn't know why the fuck you was being pulled to terror. You didn't know why you was being pulled to certain things. It was because the time was now. The time was for you to tap into your dark energy. Because it cannot be light all the time. You have to be in the dark to find light. You have to go through some dark shit. And that initiates the shadow work process. All right. And you've always been protected and guided by your angels. All right. A higher power is looking over you and has been looking over you. But now is the time to meet your soul family collectives. Now is the time to tap into your ancestral bloodline of witches to make shit happen. Multiple soul connections are forming in your life right now. And it's because you tapped into your private abilities. You tapped into your private gifts and started utilizing for your fucking self. 
You're not utilizing your private gifts and your intuition for nobody. Okay? Because this can't be taught to just anybody. All right? This is you being able to tap into some private gifts that you have. And it's allowing you to rewrite your story, rewrite your future. There's so many actions that you are taking that is changing your path right now. And you are ending cycles beautifully through those dark times. You are giving people inspiration to release them from cycles that was hindering their growth and hindering their transformation. And because you are healing others through your dark times, you've been given the ability and the access to tap in to your light and your dark, all right? To some sort of divination that y'all you are using to heal others. See, when you get a gift and you don't use it for good, when you get a gift and you want to keep it all to yourself, when you give a gift and you don't want to share, you don't want to give people the information, you don't want to give people nothing, that's when... You just start operating out of witchcraft. That's when you just start operating out of dark. Okay? You got to learn how to give, but you also got to learn how to receive. And you also have to learn how to use discernment. Not everybody is supposed to be having your gifts. Not everybody, not everybody is supposed to be doing what you do. Not everybody can be trusted with this form of divination. All right? You took action and you set boundaries, baby. These people are intimidated. You got a lot of people. Feel, they feel even if they older, they feel like you so bigger than them. They're not st stepping over that boundary. And it's because you changed your perception. You changed your perception about something. All right. Things were not what they seem in your life. And it was it was because you wasn't tapping to your gifts. All right. You are an indigo child. All right. You are having an indigo child. All right. There's a new soul coming. There's a new soul within you. That's highly sensitive, but highly motherfucking powerful. All right. You are a star seed. And you've spiritually grown into this era of your life. You have spiritually grown. Spiritually grown into this vessel of a star seed. All right. You have been enlightened. And you have ascended. To your new abilities by going through an ego death and being enlightened with a lot of shit. All right. Let's get signed on your love and then we're going to close this out. Spirit. So now that we know the collective is tapping into some type of ancient ancestral which bloodline what is going on for my collective's love life wow you guys are going to be content in your love life you guys are finding peace and you guys are finding peace in a situation okay you guys are finding peace wow Tell me more about the collective's love life. Wow. It's like, so I see a masculine foot here. It looked like a masculine foot. So I feel like there's a masculine that is content with father, finding peace finally in a situation. And I feel like there's a divine feminine that been keeping calm and meditating and not overreacting. All right, so I feel like there's a divine masculine and feminine or it's just in a calm energy. Okay, that's what I'm seeing. Just not overreacting, very content. Give me one more spirit. You have short term. You have short term. All right, why is this short term here, spirit? Why is this short term here? Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn? Or something could have happened short term? Oh, wow. That's what happened. So somebody could have uh, said you was a short term um, during Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn season. But you and your person stay calm 
because y'all knew that it was long term. All right. Y'all knew how much y'all couldn't get a, enough of each other. All right. Y'all knew and y'all knew that or you knew whoever was getting caught short term. You knew that throughout all the many options this person has. They chose you. Uh, a uh, uh, new opportunity is a gate is open um, for a fire sign and a water sign um, coming very soon. Okay, they are dealing with an imbalance in relationship, but they are cleansing. Okay, because somebody might be a pregnancy or there's a pregnancy bump coming soon, and somebody is grieving about that so that's what i have for you for um your love i didn't want to really get into a whole love reading but i really wanted to get, get you some clarity all right i love you guys congratulations on this gift and tapping into some type of ancient ancestral bloodline of witches that's creating and rewriting not only your love story but your future